Die SPS Connect in diesem Jahr komplett virtuell, komplett digital. Sie können sich ja gerne noch mal weiter durchklicken durch das Portal. Da wir haben ja gesagt, wir wollen, dass Sie ja, die SPS auch digital genauso, fast genauso stattfinden wie in der physischen Form. Also dass Sie quasi all das auch mitnehmen und all das geboten bekommen, was Sie eben sonst von der realen SPS in der Nürnberger Messe eben sonst auch mitgenommen haben und was Sie da eben sonst auch kennen. Und wir versuchen das eben auf jeden Fall digital hier für Sie auf die Beine zu stellen. Und wir freuen uns schon auf unser nächstes Panel und äh, da wechseln wir dann auch ins Englische. Um, scientists have been working on artificial intelligence for decades. Over 83% of companies already have AA strategies. In addition to technology, culture and the ease of application are at the heart of the upcoming industrial change. The lecture revolves around practical industrial examples that perform will help companies to successfully generate value from the application of AI in industrial application. So, Please welcome Dr. Josef Waltel, Principal Group Program Manager at Microsoft Deutschland, Felix Kolmer, Co-Founder and CEO of CloudRail, René Blaschke, Product Manager IoT at B&R Industrial Automation and Frank Steinhoff, he's CEO of SoftSing Industrial Automation GmbH. And the panel is called Artificial Intelligence and IoT, Drivers for Industrial Value Generation. Hello, my name is Joseph Waltel and I'm leading a product management group within Azure Industrial IoT and Manufacturing. Today's talk is all about value generation with artificial intelligence in industrial IoT in the manufacturing space. We'll first go through all the three topic areas in detail and then conclude with three concrete implementation examples. Current times often put economic stress on the business models of manufacturers, be it from in-market competition or from global unexpected events. Let's look a bit deeper how cloud technologies around artificial intelligence and IoT can help manufacturers with revenue growth and margin expansion. McKinsey estimates that cloud-enabled operations will unlock more than 1 trillion US dollars for industrial companies. When looking at the individual firm's value chain, we can see that improvements in the manufacturing function can lead up to 3% improvement in profitability. This can be an enabler to be a leader in the market. Working with industrial customers, we have identified 10 recurring use cases. Operational equipment effectiveness measures the time manufacturing is truly productive. To transfer this into value, an increase of OEE from 60 to 70 percent translates into an increase of return on capital employed from 6.8 to 12.3 percentage points. Anomaly detection aims at the identification of abnormal behavior of industrial assets, such as tool machines or industrial track systems. Coupled with vibration analysis, analysts expect a market of $1.5 billion just for this use case. The opportunity is evident for manufacturers. Let's look at technology to implement and start with IoT. The cloud gives access to globally distributed compute and storage resources, making most of the use cases economically viable. IoT and Edge help to connect physical assets like sensors and actuators with the cloud, manage devices centrally and offload intelligence to the Edge. Artificial intelligence allows to identify patterns and anomalies and invoke corrective action. Microsoft is investing 5 billion US dollars in enhancing this IoT platform over the next years. As we will outline in this uh, presentation, one of our partners has been able to implement an end-to-end -end industrial application with IoT Edge and IoT Hub in just one day. Speaking of partners, Microsoft's industrial IoT strategy is built around a strong ecosystem of partners. Industrial applications are so diverse that a combination of Microsoft's strong platform capabilities and the partner's deep domain knowledge will ultimately help manufacturers to generate value for their individual use cases. Beyond the initial hype, artificial intelligence has landed in many manufacturers starting initial projects. Technology is there. The main challenge is the adoption barrier with respect to talent. According to McKinsey's cloud survey in 2019, 
58% of the CAOs see talent gaps as the main challenge. Manufacturers with often distributed operations find it particularly hard to hire cloud experts and data scientists. Once applications are built, global rollout to remote facilities often stalls due to the lack of resources to operate and adapt these solutions to local requirements. Cloud services around artificial intelligence with a focus on ease of use and a rich set of APIs can help to solve that challenge. On the example of Azure Metrics Advisor, we see an out-of-the-box platform service for anomaly detection. It simplifies the monitoring lifecycle with a web-based service to set up time series monitoring and alerting. A predefined anomaly detection model identifies anomalies without the need of data science skills. The core engine looks at each dataset specifically with an algorithm to select the best model from a pool to ensure highest accuracy. Based on the identified anomalies, actions can be triggered to inform a manufacturer on, for example, degrading performance of an industrial asset. Together with our partners CloudRail, BNR and Softing, we've developed a framework for anomaly detection based on vibration analysis. Our partners use their sensoring, IoT gateway and PLC capabilities to collect data based on Azure IoT Edge and send it to the cloud. Metrics Advisor, extended with industrial ingest capabilities, automatically identifies anomalies on vibration data and triggers actions. Manufacturers profit from end-to-end -end applications that scale from day one. Let's look at partner implementations of our industrial anomaly detection framework. CloudRail is a startup centered around OT IT integration. They build solutions to get data out of the shop floor without the hassle of handling OT legacy technology. Hi, my name is Felix Kolmer. I'm co-founder and CEO of CloudTrail, and we partnered with Microsoft to make over 12,000 professional industrial sensors compatible with Metrics Advisor. This allows you to use almost any professional industrial sensor as a source for anomaly detection using this great new Microsoft product. So let me show you how that works. This is our demo setup for today. It consists of an edge gateway, the CloudTrail box, an I.O. module, which connects down to a couple of sensors. And the first use case I'd like to show you today is vibration analysis based on a vibration sensor, which is mounted on this fan. We already pre-configured the sensor, so if we jump into Metrics Advisor, you can already see data from that vibration sensor. And here, for example, we have a detected anomaly, which we artificially caused by putting some glue on one of the plates of this fan. This use case is great, but actually there's so much more beyond just vibration data. There's so many more sensors which could deliver valuable information about your machine's health. So think for example of this pressure sensor. This pressure sensor could sit in a cooling circuit or a hydraulic system. So I would say we go ahead and connect this pressure sensor now to Metrics Advisor. To do so, we go into the CloudTrail device management tool, hit new connection, and there we can either connect to OPC UA data sources or directly connect to sensors, which I'll do now. And what I do is I just plug in the sensor. So let's go ahead and connect it. And this works for almost any industrial sensor out there. And here in CloudTrail, it just appears. So you select it then choose Azure Metrics Advisor as the target, give the device a name, so we call it Pressure, and hit Create. We now automatically provision this new sensor to Metrics Advisor. So let's jump back into Metrics Advisor and go back to the data sources. Here are the data feeds. And as you can see here, there is a new sensor called Pressure and this sensor is already sending data to Metrics Advisor, which is training the model in the background. So with Microsoft Metrics Advisor, in combination with CloudTrail, you can use almost any industrial sensor as a data source for machine learning-based anomaly detection. 
And since it's following a simple plug and play approach, you don't need to be a data scientist, nor you need any specialized domain knowledge about machine learning, AI, or the cloud in general. Just plug in a sensor, follow the simple process, and you're ready to go. Thank you very much. Berneck and Rainer is a major player in industrial automation and process control. They are part of the ABB group and serve more than 4,000 machine builders. Have you ever wondered if it is possible to get maintenance information about your machine at an early stage? That means before unnecessary wear out, damage or downtime will happen. This is exactly the question we have dealt with. My name is René Blaschke and I am part of the product management team from BNR. There I am responsible for our IoT portfolio. What we can see here is a flexible transport system from BNR. This transport system is equipped with vibration sensors. On the rails, they are running so-called shuttles. As with cars, these shuttles are running on tires. And as with cars, these tires wear out over the time. It is our goal now to recognize any anomaly like a wear out at an early stage based on an individual usage of the machine. For that, we are collecting high resolution vibration data these data are pre-processed locally on our edge device. Afterwards, the data will be securely transferred to the Matrix Advisor cloud service from Microsoft. And there, a model will be trained with the vibration data. As soon as an anomaly can be detected, like a changed vibration behavior, a notification will appear. In this way, a dedicated action can be derived such as planning to replace a tire during the next maintenance service. In any case, our POC together with Microsoft was successful. We were able to realize an end-to-end -end solution that means from the machine over the edge up to the cloud within one day. And last but not least, we were able to detect anomalies with the help of Microsoft's Metrics Advisor cloud service. And finally, we were able to derive dedicated actions based on the provided information. And for that, there was no data scientists needed. Softing is a leading company in industrial communication for manufacturers, with a strong focus on OPC UA and an expanding censoring ecosystem. Hello, my name is Frank Steinhoff. I'm the CEO of Softing Industrial Automation, GmbH from Munich. And here in the IoT lab, we prepared for you as customers the IoT PUC for vibration detection. In this case, the most important measurement item is this kind of sensor block where we have the possibility to measure vibration detection and to measure not normal signals. In addition to that, we have prepared an industrial wireless gateway, which is at the moment with a sensor block 2, a prototype to bring in the data from the sensor direct to the cloud. We detect in, this ki in these cases vibration and anomalies like too high spindle load, tool vibration and cutting vibration. So this means we have the machine together with you as our customers, the machines in our quite well good hands. We are together partners for IoT solutions. We are the digital bridge builder and we bring in as Softing 30 years of IoT competencies and a strong OPC UA history. Summarizing in this presentation we've outlined. Where does the value for manufacturers lie? How can we make IoT and AI easy? How does a framework for easy implementation look like? And how do concrete implementations of that framework from our partners for our joint industrial customers look like? You can reach out to us via the outlined means and we look forward to a lively discussion.
Yeah, thank you, Dr. Josef Waltel, Felix Kolmer, René Blaschke and Frank Steinhoff. Now we'd like to talk to uh, Dr. Waltel and Mark Schier. Mark Schier is a technical lead at Microsoft, so welcome. Um, yeah, no. Two questions. Uh, which barriers to adopt IoT and AI based value creation for a typical SMB manufacturer? Um. That's a wide field. Uh, first of all, we still have uh, challenges in um, getting brownfield data up to the cloud. Um, we as Microsoft work heavily to support our partners and customers. For example, we provide a very uh, comprehensive OPC UA stack to get data, especially from the automation layer, up to the um, cloud layer. The second part is, as mentioned in the presentation, uh, is really making things easy, uh, building up uh, cloud telemetry in, in just uh, simple. And the second part is also with AI, um, it's just, as mentioned, very hard for a lot of SMB companies that sometimes are not in major cities to get the talent in. And as outlined, we really try to uh, help SMB customers to uh, get value out of the technology with the existing stuff without having the lead time of finding new people to master that technology. Mark, how do I engage with the partners you mentioned on the industrial anomaly detection framework you mentioned? Josef, maybe this is a question for you better. So what we outlined is something that we just newly built. Uh, best would be if you either directly connect with CloudRail, Softing, and uh, Bernick and Reiner. They are briefed and they uh, can help to build up custom solutions. We also provided an email address, uh, uh, industrial anomaly at Microsoft.com. We will channel um, all the needs that we get in and we then uh, uh, work with our partners to support our customers. Great, so thank you very much for the insights. Thank you, Dr. Waltel and uh, Mark Schier. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Thank, thank you, bye-bye. Bye. So, bei uns geht's weiter bei der SPS Connect mit einer kurzen Pause. Wir haben ja gesagt, wir versuchen ja genau das Gleiche Ihnen zu bieten, wie wir es bei der realen SPS ja auch machen. Das heißt, zu dieser Zeit ist es langsam Zeit für Mittagspause. Da gehen wir jetzt auch alle gemeinsam hin. Und ähm, dann kann ich Ihnen aber schon ans Herz legen, die Roundtables. Um 13 Uhr beginnen die. Ähm, die finden Sie auch in Ihrer Eventagenda, wenn Sie einfach nach Roundtables filtern. Suchen Sie sich das raus, was Sie interessiert. Und ähm, dann melden Sie sich an. Seien Sie schnell, denn pro Roundtable, äh, jeder Roundtable ist auf 50 Personen begrenzt. Also das Ganze wird dann nach dem First Come, First Serve Basis vergeben. Also das berühmte klassische Windhund-Prinzip. Seien Sie schnell, melden Sie sich an. 13 Uhr geht es los mit den Roundtables. Und dann sehen wir uns um 13.35 Uhr wieder hier äh, im Stream und dann freuen wir uns auf Dr. Andreas Müller von der Robert Bosch GmbH zum Thema, zum Thema Industrial 5G State of the Union. Freuen Sie sich drauf und bis später.